Hi guys, um, Matt here back with another video and today we've got uh, two unboxings uh, they're both uh, related we've got this little one for this big boy and this I've just bought from eBay um, I purchased it the weekend and it's actually come today which is um, Wednesday so let's get into the box um, say hopefully a late 2006 uh, MacBook in white and I just went down to the post office to collect this because I was actually out when they delivered it but I'm quite surprised by the size of the package because not normal size of MacBook but maybe the salad didn't have enough uh, space or anything. I've got my trusty little uh, tool that I got from when I used to work to open boxes um, hopefully it'll help me out here not really sure how to get into this there we are it seems to be quite well packaged right it's in a box sent it in a, uh, a a box of beer or something Corona. Oh, buddy, thank you. He got my address on the back of a thank you card. Well, it is the actual box. Okay, you couldn't send this. Are we going to cut this part out? Because it's so noisy and messy. Okay, so here's the box Corona. To be fair, it's quite saves him the money, so I don't blame him. Look, I'm getting to the bubble wrap layer now. This is all good. and get in. I love the challenge of getting into a box. Let's see if I can get in. I hate this little end. It doesn't seem to work very well. Packaged well, lots of bubble wrap. Now we're at the bubble wrap. So if I did drop it, would have been alright. Oh, there it is. I found it. Let's take it out nice and gently. I think this is the charger. Just the just the MacBook and the charger that came with it. So I can hopefully sit down now. Maybe that I'll just stand up. And then open the charger first. Should just be the standard MagSafe Apple charger. The one that everyone knows and loves that they decided to get rid of for USB C. Oh well. I'll talk about why I decided to get uh, an old MacBook. Basically I wanted something, a laptop. Okay. I wanted a laptop that I could um, that 
or I could just use for simple tasks like Word and um, surfing the internet and whatever. And the cheapest that they start at is about £150. I bought this for £100 off eBay. And it's an Apple MacBook, so which would have cost about £1,000 when they came out. And it looks nice, I like, and the design. Let me actually get into it and open it. The design is um, exactly the same as up, right up until 2009 models. And they the design also holds its age well if you look at the old lap, old windows laptops they don't look very nice but i think the white one the white mac looks still look modern and fresh and clean um, so i'm going to have the mac os on this but also windows just for just general browsing really that's all i wanted it for and i've never really owned a mac book or anything like that they're too expensive too overpriced and poor specs if you ask me but I can see it I can see it I'll take it out now and here is the MacBook let's check the scratches actually I can clean that off it doesn't seem to be that many scratches on it even though this is second hand 10 years old oh the bottom's quite the bottom's quite dirty a little bit of damage on the bottom there how does it have a charge how do I check it's got medium charge so I can just turn it on and use it well the guy said the disk drive did work disk which is surprising for it being so old most of them don't work but on the base of it, it looks quite quite good so I'll just get lower down now okay so now we're lower down we can take a a better look at the uh, the MacBook and here's the ports on the side oh I don't want that to turn on here's the ports on the side we've got your MagSafe Got some paper or something in that. I'll try to clear that out. I'll try to clear this all up properly when I'm I, uh, on my own because it is very a bit dirty. It's quite old as well, so I don't blame it. But got your network, Ethernet, FireWire, which is quite obsolete now. Two USB and um, mic and headphone jack. That's all worn off a bit, but well, and then. Hopefully the hinge works okay. That's something I'm hoping works okay. But on the face of it, it looks quite it does look used. It's obviously quite used, but I'm not sure how you open it. Is it just magnets? Oh yeah, it's just magnets. The screen's a bit dirty. Keys are dirty as well. I'll try to clear all this up properly. See, it's very dirty, but it's very old. Try file this plastic down a bit because it's quite worn. But keys feel fine. Keys feel good. And um, the second package I haven't actually shown you yet, but hopefully it's just something I ordered off eBay again for four pounds. A little. Um, micro DVI to HDMI out there so micro DVI to HDMI out and that should just so all this is just a micro DVI to HDMI out it's very plastic it doesn't feel good quality but hopefully just plugs into the socket doesn't look like it's ever been used Had it the wrong way around. Just plugs in and should give me the screen, laptop screen out. Doesn't look like it's ever been used. It's got some dust in, so I don't think it's going in fully. Not sure how far it's meant to go in as well, but that should be fine. Okay, so it's now time to turn the laptop on. 
I plugged the charger in because it wouldn't actually turn on without the charger on so it's probably not got a charge and it's coming on now got the Apple logo don't know how well you can see that but it's quite a dim screen so I might just turn the brightness up trackpad works well, the trackpad has got no sign of wear on it at all it's really good, I'm really impressed and I'll try clean it with a magic eraser oh it's coming up with which Wi-Fi do I want so I've never used Mac OS before so this is a bit of a idiot's start up I guess getting lots so I've logged in and hopefully well I think he's not changed everything the guy who previously owned this I don't think he's got rid of all his stuff because I can see his documents maybe not I'm not sure just looking to find it all my files oh he's got nothing so the trackpad works well the screen works nice works exactly as I, I want I guess let's just go on to Safari see how well it does this is second hand, it's a bit slow. Learning up the Apple website now. It was a tiny bit slow, not as fast as my computer that's got 8 gig of RAM in, but still pretty fast. So, this is the late 2006 model. It has said, let's have a look, it's got, said it had uh, 2.5 gig of RAM, which I'm hoping is true. I think we go on some kind of about or something. Preferences. No. Um, settings. System preferences. General. Not really sure how we get on to the about is what I want. So we can see what our. our specs are what system we're running I'm hoping this is Lion um, but all in all I'm pretty impressed for some reason the plastic's quite chipped around the base um, so maybe I sh could file that down a bit or something I'm not sure how that's happened but the the, the actual plastic has not come away from the laptop at all, I'm going to try to clean it all down quite nicely it's only been on for like a couple of seconds so I'm not expecting it to be hot but it isn't hot at the moment it says he tried to clean this up but I don't think he's done a very good job of it I could probably do a better job it's very dirty dirty but all in all the system Let's just try like Facebook and things. Pretty fast, pretty nippy. So it works perfectly as like a laptop. Not sure where the at symbol is on these. There. Yeah, there we are. Uh, here it's starting to lag. Actually, quite a labour intensive website, I imagine Facebook is. So, let's try spinning around. It's loading. It is slow. I'm not going to deny it's not as fast as it could be. But, how do we get in full screen big? Yep. Nope, that's not working. How? Oh. oh. Yeah, there we are. Well, that's not quite what I wanted, but works as Facebook all the same. 
is a little bit slow. Not sure why I'm on Facebook's homepage, but okay. So I'm just uh, updating the MacBook to the latest uh, updates of OS X for this uh, particular one. Uh, I think that's 10.75 or something like that. And then what I'm going to do is because it's quite dirty, just get the magic eraser and just try and pick up as much dust as I possibly can and uh, clean it up a bit so it looks a bit nicer so I'll be back to you when I've done that okay so as you can see uh, we're now running the latest um, update of OS X that this Mac can run this is the specs of it uh, you can hear the fan probably as well so I'm just going to turn it off it's getting quite hot so I've just installed that update okay so now I've turned the laptop off I've just got this magic eraser which is just uh, you can buy that in local stores and that really works well when getting dirt off any particularly white surface I've used it in the past before for shoes and getting the mud off shoes to make them look new so I'm just going to go over the keyboard like this and just try and pick up the dust I've got it quite a high surface area to try and get some of this dust off so I'm just going to do that for a bit see dirt's coming off already I hope to get some of this dust trapped between the keys off as well seems to be working okay so now I'm actually ready with this uh, magic eraser to clean the underside and that's one the one that I was looking forward to doing most because it looks the worst, it looks so dirty on the bottom because it's picked up so much dust over the years, I don't think it's been cleaned properly but this magic eraser hopefully should do the job oh wow, it's coming straight off yeah the dirt's coming right off with this magic eraser, it's so dirty on the bottom but just a little bit of this inexpensive thing get all the dirt off and make all the difference really so I'll continue to do that and clean it all up and then I'll show you when it's all cleaned okay so the keyboard is actually really hard to get the dirt off uh, individual keys in the little grooves here so I've been using the magic eraser you just go over this one's quite worn now so I'm not going to do that much but all you want to do is go over the keys like this with a magic eraser, a little bit of water on it, nothing fancy and just go over the keys and make it look pretty good again, like basically brand new and then what I've got after that is just a toothbrush and on the end has got this little TP head um, that we don't use in the house but TP, toothbrush, whatever and just get the toothbrush and and the bits that you can't get off just get in between the grooves and just toothbrush it away <laughs> I guess and just get the, all the dirt just brush it off with the toothbrush and, the, and the, for the small keys just use the TP head just brush away the dirt so the best way to clear these keyboards that I found and it makes it look really white really nice and brand new is to use the toothbrush TP head in combination with the magic eraser eraser okay okay so what I'm doing now is just for there's some really small gaps where I just can't get out the uh, dirt. I'm just using some uh, compressed air just to basically blow <laughs> blow the dirt away. it's very cold 
the uh, best technique that I've found is get the toothbrush or the TP and just go along the tracks like this so that minimizes the time you have to take but also uniformly distributes the brushes so you're not brushing too hard in one area or too soft in another so it's probably the best method is the magic razor and toothbrush then for cleaning ev everywhere else I'm just using the magic eraser and simply just get with water just going up and down like this just to and in any tough spots just giving it an extra rub and that is cleaning it up really nicely making it look pretty much white again the main issue is these ports down here the uh, dirt gets really stuck in there so you've got to really work it. I'm going to work it out with the toothbrush as well and hopefully get that looking a bit better. Okay I'm back now and a bit of a time jump but I've installed all the software that I wanted to install. I've installed Firefox, so, uh, Spotify and Word and that and it all runs fine so um, I'm really happy with this. It runs really fast and quick. There's some things that I've noticed that I can't get. Spotify will run out on the next iteration of its software, but there's ways around that. So all in all, this is a great little browsing laptop.